And the Democrats do need 216 votes to pass the bill. So tonight, the White House is going door to door to lock in some 37 members of Congress, all Democrats. John Carl tracked that full court press. You may not know them, but these 37 men and women, Democrats who voted no the first time, hold the fate of the health care bill in the balance. And today we saw just how much they matter. One of the 37, Dennis Kucinich, was on Air Force One today, invited for a little presidential persuasion. I was talking to Dennis Kucinich on the way over here about this. Kucinich is a liberal Democrat who just a week ago said he won't support a bill unless it includes government-run insurance, the public option. We have to have a public option. Then there's a smaller group, Democrats who voted yes, but who are now wavering. One of them, Steve Driehaus, got a visit from the vice president today in his home district. Driehaus is no easy yes vote either. Over the weekend, he told the Cincinnati Enquirer he'd vote no because the bill doesn't do enough to restrict abortion funding. I can tell you that Congressman Bride is opposed to the health care bill. All of these Democrats are getting an earful. Phone office. calls and a barrage of television ads both for... If the insurance companies win, we lose. And against... Billions in new taxes. It's hard to say whether any of this is changing votes yet, but Democratic leaders believe they are making progress. And Diane, here's a tea leaf for you. Dennis Kucinich has for weeks been firmly saying that he is against this bill, but today when he was asked if he still opposes it, he said only no comment.